the Indian civilization has demonstrated a great capacity to assimilate new thoughts, ideas and culture. The coming of Islam with its ideas of the brotherhood of man, the oneness of God, the surrender of man to God's will and the non-ritualistic attitude to religion made a great impact on Indian thinkers and reformers. The Sufi emphasis on love, equality of all human beings and universal brotherhood was similar to the Vedantic philosophy which states that individual souls are manifestations of the supreme soul or God and they finally merge into it. The simple requirements of love, a clean heart and no rituals coupled with the immensely powerful healing quality of devotional music have a widespread appeal for persons of all faiths and denominations. The popular shrines of the saints offer people a space to address God intimately and personally without any external intervention or intermediary. Christianity came first to India as early as the 2nd century AD and it found its own place in the hearts and minds of the people. The Golden Temple at Amritsar, Punjab is the focal point of the Sikh religion. The word Sikh means disciple and they are the followers of the teachings of Guru Nanak, the great mystic and saint of the 15th century. Guru Nanak believed that God is one, without form and ineffable. He preached the common brotherhood of man. is seen as the primal syllable not only by uh, Hindu practitioners but also by Buddhist and by Jain uh, practitioners. It is seen as the primal syllable, uh, the sound from which the universe itself comes into being and it is associated, the three syllables that make up uh, the syllable Om are associated with three different levels of consciousness and uh, Om once it is chanted, can be seen as the model for an inward journey to the deepest level of consciousness. Dharma, eternal India's path of righteousness.